first of all, I want to say God is so good. I woke up feeling good this morning. I want to share a testimony with y'all. You know, God touched my life, and God could touch your life too. He could touch your life today. He could touch your life right now. I go by the name Matthew Cooley. People know me as DJ Cooley. Some people know me for being an artist. Some people know me for being a producer. I produce for a lot of different industry artists. I grew up in Camden, New Jersey. Grew up right next to the band though. But thanks to God, I ain't there no more. I first started doing music. I started at the age of 15. Four years later, I finally got with, I finally got with a rap group. Finally connected with the right people. Then we finally started getting some buzz. It got to a point where we was doing shows every week. We was partying Wait every week, drinking every week. Yes, Crazy thing, I was still going to church every Sunday. I was doing that stuff all week long and then I still go to church on Sunday. Praising God, like that's crazy. Like you be doing this all week, then you be going to church on Sunday. And you know how that go. You got flexing Fridays, you got syrup sipping Saturdays, then you trying to be sanctified on Sunday. Hey man, that, that was me. You know, then it hit me like, then it just hit me. Boom! Then it hit me. Boom! <laughs> hit me like boom how long am I going to keep going back and forth doing it you ever you ever go to church and it sound like the pastor talking the message is, is just strictly for you just for you it was like that every Sunday you know the pastor doing the altar calls and you be trying to fight against it like damn man next week ne next week chill chill man. next week I'm coming next week man Going, I'm going up there next week. Yeah, so basically that was me, man. I, I was fighting to go up to the altar. You go to church, then you see the people lifting up their hands, they screaming, they shouting. You seeing all this different stuff going on and you in church and you ain't feeling nothing like, you feel that? No, I don't feel nothing. You know, but that, that curiosity start hitting me. Like, you know, like I want to get to know God for myself. I want, I want to see if, I want to see if this is the real deal. I want to, what are they feeling? What are they talking about? What are they saying? I, I don't understand nothing. They, they talking in tongues, by the way. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give this two months. I'm going to see God with all my heart for two months straight. I'm going to see God with all my heart for two months straight. No social media. I'm talking about no Facebook, no Instagram, no Snapchat, no Twitter, none of that. I said, I'm going to cut my friends off. I ain't going to talk to my friends for, for two months straight. I said, I ain't going to work on my music. I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna fully seek God. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna try to do good. I ain't gonna drink. I ain't gonna go to the clubs. I ain't gonna do nothing that's gonna hold me back from receiving God. It, it wasn't. It wasn't easy, by the way. It's like each day is a new day is a struggle. Cause you know the day that we living in, that's what is based off social media, who you are, what you're trying to do with yourself. Yeah, who you are online defines who you are in reality. You know, when you focus on God, God will put you around the right people. So I just thank God for that. I want to shout out my brother, Mo Griffin, and shout out the whole Royal Claw family. Basically, what I'm trying to say, my testimony is that God delivered me. God delivered me from that urge for wanting to be in the music industry, that urge for just wanting riches and fame and, you know, seeking things of this world. Start seeking things of God. Start seeking the riches of God. Start seeking the kingdom of God. So I just thank God for delivering me. This testimony is to let you know no matter where you at in God, if you just seek him, God will deliver you. God will take you from one place to the next. God will take you out the wilderness. God will take you out that depression. God will take them suicide thoughts out your head. God will remove the enemy out your life that's trying to attack. All you got to do is just seek Jesus. All you got to do is just ask Jesus in your life. All you got to do is just give him your heart. It's a lot for us to bear, but all we got to it's easy. Jesus say that we don't even fight the battle. He fights the battle for us. All we got to do is just submit to him. Jesus say in John 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. What Jesus is basically saying that he is the way, he is the key, he is the door. Before you can even get to the kingdom, it has to be through him. He is the way. If you haven't accepted Jesus, accept him. Open your heart to receive him. Open your heart and just pray, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior and I repent for my old sins. So I just want to encourage people, if you was going to church, if you going to church every Sunday and you ain't getting no results, it's because we got to we gotta give our heart to God. We can't be half in and half out, lukewarm. We got to submit and, and fully commit to God because that's not, that's when my life changed. I was going to church every Sunday for years and nothing happened. Ain't nothing happened. I think about changing my life 
once every couple months but then i've decided to take that leap of faith and to do it stop waiting for a tragedy to happen stop waiting for something tragic to happen in order for you to see god stop waiting for something tragic to happen in order to give your heart to god why can't we do it today why can't we do it today a lot of us is having deaths in our family then we want to seek god because a lot of people in our family is dying why can't we seek god today and fight the enemy to where we saving our family's lives because we praying for them 24 hours. I just want to encourage people, if you got a nice testimony, go ahead and share your testimony. Why are we being scared to exalt God's name? The enemy, this is the last days in the enemy name. All you doing is hearing negativity. Let's start sharing these testimonies. Let's start helping the next person. Let's start encouraging the next person.